my channel. Thank you for clicking in. Today I am going to share with you my first trimester and all the highs, all the lows, everything I have been experiencing for the first 12 weeks of having a human inside me. Um, the reason I really want to document as much as I can across this pregnancy is because it's my first and I'd love to be able to look back on it one day um, and see and remember how I felt and what was happening. Um, and then the other reason is because, I don't know why, women just don't seem to share as openly about motherhood, pregnancy, childbirth, recovery. It just seems like it's not as commonly talked about. Um, I think it's getting a lot better, but I do think we still have some ways to go. Um, I really want to be as honest as I can about what I experience. It's not all easy, it's not all amazing, um, and it's not all bad either. So I think it's important to share an honest overview of what's happening so that we can support each other. Um, I feel like for so long women have had this I've got it all together, I can take care of my home, I can take care of my family, I can work full time, I've got it covered, I don't need any help, I'm all good, you can come and see my picture perfect life, when behind the scenes it's not the case. Um, and I think the more that we share and are open and honest about that, the more support we have. I love the idea that it takes a village to raise a child and I think having more support around you helps. So I'm hoping that this can be a two-way conversation um, and if I'm experiencing things and you're also pregnant let me know if you are um, and yeah let's just be a bit more honest and open about what we go through and how we feel. Um, so that's why. So this video today, I have so many videos in my head of what I want to film, but this one today is going to be the first trimester. So I have notes on my phone as I was going through each week, any sort of symptoms I was having at the time. Um, so I just want to chat through some of the stuff that happened from week 1 to 12, which is essentially only like week 7 to 12, because we found out that we were pregnant about week 4, which is really early. Um, but I didn't really start noticing anything until a few weeks later. So, let's get into it. So, it was in April that I did the first pregnancy test, and it was literally on the day I was supposed to get my period, and we kind of just did it for fun, um, just to see. So we bought a three pack and ended up doing it every second day that week, and they all showed up as pregnant, and then we waited a whole nother week just to see if I had my dates totally wrong um, and then booked a doctor's appointment the following week so it was the start of May that we went to the doctors um, and I was seven weeks pregnant and that's when we got told um, and the previous video of our first baby vlog talks about that. Um, so some of my symptoms that I had from the very beginning when I was like oh I am pregnant um, was sore boobs oh my gosh, they get so sore, like straight away. Um, we did park run, which is a free 5k run on Saturday mornings, and I started running and I was like, ow, oh my gosh, I wore the wrong sports bra. I thought I wore my yoga ones, which are just like no support. Um, and I looked down and I was wearing a proper supportive Lorna Jane bra, and I was like, oh, okay, ouch. <laughs> and then hugging people for the first few weeks really hurt. Um, so yeah, sore boobs definitely for the first few weeks. Um, needing to pee all the time. I drink heaps of water already, like I drink about two, two and a half litres a day normally. Um, so I pee a lot anyway, I kind of have that, I'm known to be the one always needing to pee. So this was next level. I would go to the toilet when I'd finish work and then I'd get the train home and be busting by the time I got home not having had any liquid in between those two times. Um, so yeah, just always having to pee. Um, next, not so fun one, it was acne. So I had been on the pill for so long. I'll do another video on that stuff, but um, I went onto the pill for my skin. So my skin was super clear when I was on the pill. I went off the pill and I had that real gross time where I had pimples all over my face and the, my hormones getting back to normal. And then it got clear again. Um, and then the first few weeks of pregnancy, acne kicked right back in. It's all around my chin, um, 
so that's obviously hormonal. Um, and it hasn't gone away yet, which is so annoying. They all say like, oh, second trimester, pregnancy glow. No, I still have acne, like little bumps all over my chin. And then pigmentation as well. So even once they've gone away, there's still a mark where it was, which is super annoying. Um, the last few weeks of the first trimester, um, my work pants and my jeans started getting really tight and uncomfortable, so I stopped wearing them. Um, like I could still fit my jeans on and it would sit under my belly, but then sitting down, like just having the skin roll go over my pants felt so uncomfortable. And to be honest, I just felt like I was getting really chubby and it's kind of the point I would get to normally and be like, right, I have to rein it in, I have to be super healthy, I have to exercise, I don't want to feel this way. But I knew it was because I'm growing, so it's not like I could change it. Um, so I just stopped wearing the pants and jeans. Um, I started wearing clothes that were just loose on me already. So it's winter at the moment, so that's been quite easy to just wear looser stuff. Um, but yeah, that was something. The changing shape of the body is kind of hard to get my head around. I'm very fitness and health focused, so having your body change and you're not having any control over it is hard to adjust to um, and to like have like in my head that I know it's for a good reason and it's not a bad thing at all and previously I've had friends who are pregnant who are like I feel so fat and I'm like you're not fat it's a baby you're growing a human come on now why do you think that but now that I am pregnant I do still feel that way as well um, which is Difficult. I feel like women's body shapes and how we feel we should look really does impact mentally when your body starts changing and you're not really in control. Um, what else? We got to see the baby for the first time at eight weeks and that was an experience. Oh my gosh. Like, I feel like the first few weeks it was like, oh, it says we're pregnant, but it didn't feel real. And then when we went to the scan and had a proper ultrasound um, and looking up at the screen and saw the baby, it was just mind blowing because it's inside me, it's up on the screen, I can't feel it but it's there and it's moving around and it's tiny. It was just so, so surreal and honestly one of the best things ever that I'll hold like the memory snapshot in my head forever was turning to look at Chris and looking at him looking up with like the biggest smile and like e eyes tearing up was just the best thing ever. I think that face on him and then the face on him when I walked down the aisle were like two of my most favourite memories of snapshots of him that I just have in my head. Like it was, it was the best. Um, I didn't really have any morning sickness in the first trimester, um, not physical, I wasn't actually sick. Um, I had for a few weeks, maybe like three or four weeks, where every morning on the way into work I'd just feel nauseous and it would last for about an hour or so and then once I got into work and had a cup of coffee, one coffee, one shot per day, uh, it would subside or go away. I don't know if it was because the motion of being in the car then on the train made me feel nauseous. Once I was sitting at my desk, I'd normally feel better. Uh, I only had one morning where I slept in on the weekend and woke up, we were gonna go for a walk. So I went down to have some water and then I was dry reaching because I had just left it way past when I would normally eat. I did find, um, excuse me. Um, so for morning sickness, I actually read up on it because I really didn't want it. And I did all the things they say that can help with morning sickness. So I did it to prevent morning sickness. Don't know if it did or not, but it didn't. I wasn't sick. Um, but I ate carby breakfast. So I had oats. Um, it's good that it's being winter. So I've been having oats for breakfast with blueberries or raspberries. Um, and that was really good, eating something carby first up to fill my stomach. I drank ginger tea as well because they say ginger can help and I had kombucha with ginger and lemon and I think that's all I did for nausea. Uh, I felt like they helped and I'm glad that I did them in terms of trying to prevent. Um, I was super super tired so 
first trimester. It's hard because you don't tell anyone that you're pregnant yet, but you're exhausted. I was going to bed 7.38 every night, napping on the weekends. I'm still really tired now, but it was pretty. I think I slept a lot more in the first trimester. Um, and I think the best thing for that is just trying to sleep as much as you can, going to bed earlier. And I actually found exercising did help as well. Uh, it was so much easier mentally to want to just lie on the couch and do nothing, but actually getting myself walking at least, uh, trying to do some kind of weights, um, body weight workout in the morning, even just 20 minutes of something each day, it really helped me not feel too exhausted. So that was a really good thing. And I think that's all I have down. Uh, we got to see the baby again at 12 weeks. Um, so for our first trimester scan, and it was after that we told everybody, which was super fun. Um, like we told our family first, but then friends later. In the first trimester, some of the stuff that I did, so I said I kept working out, I actually ran 8K on Mother's Day, which I was super proud that I was able to do, and I really enjoyed it. Um, so that was fun. Supplement-wise, I was having, and still am, chia seeds, really good um, for protein and is it iron? I don't think it's iron. Any anyway, chia seeds. Uh, maca powder as well and then the tablets that I've been having, um, I brought them up, are the Blackmore's Pregnancy and Breastfeeding Gold tablets. Uh, so these ones, it's a huge tub, this is my second tub I'm already on. Um, two of these a day and they have 20 important nutrients for mother and baby. Um, so these are really good. I actually started taking these at the start of the year because uh, we knew we wanted to start trying to get pregnant and they say it's important to have these supplements already within your body so I took them well before we got pregnant um, just to help my body start to have all of those nutrients to help con conceive a baby. And These I got from Chemist Warehouse and they were on special for $39.95. They're normally $65 so they were definitely a good deal. Um, I really enjoyed these. My midwife uh, asked what ones I was having. I said these. She said good. There's another brand that's not so good. So um, these have been good. Oh, that's the other one. Um, constipation. Yeah, so I had acne all over my skin. I was super tired. Su I've written super constipated. <laughs> so. Apparently it's more normal towards the end of a pregnancy to get constipated, but I got it like straight up. I think it's because I started eating a lot more carbs because I wanted to prevent morning sickness, but my body was like, ugh, what are you doing? So I just, it was ridiculous. I just could not poop. Um, and I remember being a kid, because when I was a kid I had it, and I remember, I just remember the feeling of having to sit on the toilet and read a book for like an hour. Um, so that really sucked. So I started drinking Metamucil, which helped, and eating prawns, prawns, not prawns, prunes, dried prunes, uh, which I think are delicious anyway, so that was fine, so I just had that as snacks, and both of those together helped, and now it's subsided and gone away, um, but that's something I had no idea pregnancy was, like, a symptom for, but yeah, constipation, delight, uh, it's, because everything's moving around and rearranging so that you have space to grow a human, so yeah. Hopefully I haven't rambled on too long, I feel like I just word vomited at you. <laughs> um, let me know if you're pregnant or have ever had a baby, if you had any of these symptoms. Let me know any symptoms you have if you're in your first trimester that I might not have had. There are so many that you can have, um, everybody's different. Uh, but overall it's really exciting the first trimester I think was just wrapping my head around the fact that we are gonna have a baby um, and then getting to tell people about it was really fun um, I told a lot of my friends in a way of like saying to them oh so I have a new exciting thing that I'm, I'm gonna be really interested in I'm gonna be talking about all the time I'm gonna read as much as I can on you're gonna hear about it all the time so I wanted to tell you and most of my friends like, oh, what business are you starting? Or like, oh, what hobby do you have now? And then I'd show them the photo of the scan. So that was really fun. Um, yeah, it's nice telling people. So yeah, let me know if you like this video. I'm going to do a probably just a 12 to 18, 19 week 
um, video next and then just as I go as things change uh, I will do some videos. Uh, I want to do one as well on products that I've been using whilst um, pregnant and another one as well on how we got pregnant because I actually have PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and was told it would be quite difficult. So we were quite surprised it happened as quickly as it did. Um, but I did start doing a lot of stuff from the start of the year to help with that. So I do want to share that story as well. Um, and yeah, maybe some of the baby things we're starting to get. This will actually be the baby's room that I'm filming in right now. It's our spare bedroom at the moment. We have to rearrange the house. Maybe I'll film us rearranging the house because we have three levels so it's going to be a beast of a job to do. Um, but yeah, really excited, really happy. Um, even though some of it's not so great, it's totally worth it for all of the stuff that is. So yeah, um, let me know if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys! Right here in my open hands And maybe I'll